we have one of our KFCs and we got some water up underneath the floor and what we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, we're gonna put some more metal. We're getting all the ice thawed out from underneath it. We're gonna uh, clean all the water up and we're gonna put like I say some sheets down, sheets of metal and uh, do a repair on it. But anyway, this is what the floor is. See how it's bucked up and stuff, but uh, anyway, we're gonna um, get everything out. Which would, you know, all the water out anyway, and we're gonna go from there. So anyway, I wanna show you what it looks like now. Show you what it looks like when we get done. All right. Well, I guess you can see the water hose there. Um, we were having to run the water hose up underneath and lift it up with a pry bar that's also laying on the ground there to get all the ice melted that was inside this portion of the cooler. So to, this is a, um, a secondary um, additive to, the, uh, well, in addition to a cooler that already exists. Um, this is one of the uh, KFC stores that I work at five days a week during the daytime. So we had to get all that ice uh, melted and then try to fasten down the plate to be able to complete the job and be able to actually put a good smooth floor back down. Um, and this is just one of the things that I do. But um, as you can see, there was a lot of ice. You can't really see how far it was bucked up, but it was bucked up pretty good. So um, it took a while just to get it melted, probably an hour. Or, I don't know. It took quite a while. But you can see there, um, it doesn't look real bad there. But like I say, it's in pretty bad shape. And this is, uh, like I say, the type of work I do at work. Um, and the things that I do, all for uh, commercial or residential, are just little bitty side jobs. So, but uh, if you'll just keep watching, um, you'll see the things that um, uh, that we had to do and the steps we had to go through to get it done. And um, like I say, um, um, the end results is what really um, really shows. So um, just keep watching and. Um, You'll see um, a bunch of different things that we've done and how we fastened it down and uh, put one heck of a bunch of rivets. But anyway, um, I appreciate you uh, watching the video. I hope it helps you. And um, we'll talk later. And um, hey, just have a great day. Your hammer, we're going to cut off some of the lip. It has a lip that slides down in it. We're going to get all this together. We're going to have a good looking cooler when we're done. All right, let's go forward. All right, we're starting to lay our first piece. Here's our first piece of aluminum, aluminum plating. So we've got our first piece laid there. And now we're going to rivet it all the way around. The outside edge, you know, we're going to do it at about eight, every eight inches, and then we're going to do about 12 inches in the field, then we're going to crisscross it. Piece. All right, we've got our second piece in place. We'll just put our rivets in. It's pretty nice, too nice for a cooler floor, don't it? That's the cuts I got is a uh, Not real close, but pretty close. Everything looks real good. Uh, here at my everyday job. Before earlier was bulked up, I guess you've seen that. I showed you pictures of that. And so here we are, we're gonna rivet this down. And once we rip it down, put the racks back in it, uh, fire the freezer back up, and uh, they can get everything set the way they want it. And another job. See how good everything fits. Now we've got some rivets right here, so we're going to put them directly in front of each other. We've got a real good fit, so. Uh, now we're going to drill and we're going to put the rivets in. Drill a couple to keep it 
motor. see the job's finished we've got all our plates down um, everything's cut in nice fits good everything looks good we've got our rivets uh, about eight to ten inches all the way around the field all the way around the outside of our panel then we have some uh, they're at about 12 inches in the field staggered uh, everything looks good um, like I say uh, looking here you can see how everything fits fits real well um, and you can see over in the corners, you can see where the plates come together, they fit good. It's a little bit out of square. Uh, you have to cut things um, when they're out of square. You have to know what you're doing and cut things to fit, regardless of how it is. Um, you know, you have to make things fit to make it look good and uh, give it a professional look. This is the type of stuff I do um, during my daytime job for Hodges Management. Um, uh, the 27 stores that I work on. Um, KFCs and Dairy Queens, we have a, a good bit of uh, uh, stores and I do things that uh, has to do with the building. That's my job. I'm not the technician, but I'm, I take care of the uh, real estate part of it. Uh, ceilings, floors, everything from top to bottom. So this is what I do every day, this type work. Well, as you can see, everything looks real good. Uh, done a real good job. You can see how everything's fitting here in, a, in this uh, particular picture. Everything fits real good, good clothes fits, professional job, and that's what it's all about. So even if you need some side work uh, with a small repair specialist, I can promise you I'll do a good job. Uh, I've been into uh, construction 33 years, so I'm looking forward to talking to you. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.